The estimates are that we will need to double crop yields by 2050 if we are to meet future demands um, for food and the demands of a growing non-food bioeconomy. This will mean a radical increase in the year-on-year productivity gains that we see currently in crop plants. We think it's an exciting opportunity to invest in photosynthesis um, because it enables you to get more crop per drop. So you can increase productivity, increase yields, but also increase water use efficiency and nitrogen use efficiency. It is the first time that we've been able to show from mathematical model right the way through to genetic changes in a plant that we can boost photosynthesis and get increased productivity in the field and a crop. We see that the best way to achieve this revolution is by means of improving photosynthesis and for that purpose we are assembling a consortium of European uh, plant scientists with expertise in photosynthesis to achieve what we think is going to be one of the most important changes in agriculture that there will have been in the last 50 years. We want to invest in this research program because I think that uh, it's really the right time to do it. We see a lot of challenges ahead. Uh, we need to feed the world uh, in 2050. There will be 9 billion people. Uh, we see a lot of challenges on climate change. And I think that we can come up with solutions in this research program that really will meet all these challenges. With a, a major program in Europe could of course be drawn back and it shows what intellectual potential the European Union has.